Hello everyone! So today I'll be doing one of the most highly requested videos, which is what's on my iPhone. So this is my phone. It's an iPhone 7 Plus and I have it in gold with a clear case on and a holographic photo card of Jungi. So when you open up my phone, you can see I have Jungi on as my lock screen and I actually took this photo during the concert. So when you unlock it, you can see I have Jungi as my wallpaper and I actually took this photo during the concert as well. And as you can see, I have two pages of apps. So let's start with the bottom bar first. First, I have Spotify and I use Spotify to listen to music. I have like 99% EXO songs here and like a few non-EXO songs. Uh, this is the playlist that I use whenever I need to study and these are just all OPM music. Then I have the Safari app and this is where I usually have all of my fanfics tabbed just in case I feel like reading them. So now moving on to the apps above it. First I have the camera app and that's what I use for mainly taking Instagram photos and for vlogging. Then I have the clock app. This is what I use whenever I need to make my alarms. iBox and I really love iBox since this is where I usually save all the fanfics that I need to read. Then I have the notes app and this is where I usually keep track of things I need to purchase and things that I ordered or need to pay for. And those are the apps that I mainly use on the front page. Most of these are actually pretty self-explanatory. So moving on to the next page. So as for the second page of apps, I categorized everything into folders very similar to how I did with my previous was on my phone video. So first I have the SNS apps and the mini hub. Facebook, Messenger, both are very private. I barely use them. I only use them for school-related activities. Then I have Twitter, and I'm really, really active on Twitter. So if you are interested on in seeing more announcements, you can go follow me at Exolix here. Then I have Instagram, and I'm actually pretty active on Instagram as well. You can go follow my art account, which is Strawberry Co. This is my more personal account and I'm more active here. And this is the way. And then I have my Anyang's account, of course. And this is for my journal posts. Then I have the Snow app and I barely use Snow app, mainly only for its filters. I have the Amino app. And if you guys are interested, you can go click on my link on the description box below if you guys want to support me on Amino as well. I post here all of my Plan With Me videos and yeah. Then I have Tumblr and I use Tumblr for looking up some fanfics to read if I'm running out of any. I have Pinterest and I use Pinterest whenever I need to look for inspirations, wallpapers, outfit ideas. Like last night, I was looking for um, a shirt design idea, and yeah. Then the last two apps are Telegram and Line. I use those to communicate with people. <laughs> then next, for my entertainment folder, I have YouTube, which is self-explanatory. Helix Jump. This is the only game left when I deleted all of my apps before the concert, and this is actually pretty addicting. That's why I didn't delete it, and... I already have a high level of score or whatever. The Netflix, I don't really watch Netflix on my phone. I mainly watch Netflix on my tablet. Next for the editing apps, I have Snapseed and Foodie. I use both apps for my Instagram photos and I actually did a video on that before. So you can just go and watch my previous was on my phone video. Vont and Fonto, I use those for adding watermarks or text on my fan cams or fan taken photos. And I have a line camera which I also explained on my other was in my phone video and it's for adding stickers onto my photos. So the next folder is the transportation folder and I just have your grab and Google Maps, both are self-explanatory. I have a Sakai.ph PH and it's for commuting purposes since I commute a lot. For example, if I am in Mall of Asia and I need to go to SM North, it shows 
you all of the suggested routes. Then I have YT or for YouTube. Um, I have Gmail. It's not really just restricted for YouTube. I have there um, for educational purposes and personal purposes, but mainly for YouTube. That's why I have it there. And the YT Studio, I use that to keep track of statistics and the comments. For the school app, this is where I put all of or most of my apps. First, I have Google Drive and in Google Drive, this is where I save most of my school-related files. Google Photos, it's where I sync my gallery so that I'd have a backup. It's not really school-related but I just wanted it to be there on that folder. Then I have Google Classroom, it's mainly for my classes. Google Docs, it's mainly for a research thesis paper. Documents, this is where I usually put all of my readings, handouts, but I deleted most of them before the concert. I have Chrome, then Cam Scanner. I have Papago, it's a Korean English, or I don't think it's just Korean. Oh, they have other languages as well, but I mainly use it for Korean English and vice versa translation whenever I need to purchase something online. Canva, I don't really use it, it's just for school related stuff. Zuka, I mean all of these apps, these next three apps, I use those for sets. I have Zuka and that's what I use whenever I have time to answer practice tests. Then I have here ready for SAT. I should be working on this but I got way too lazy and I only took the assessment test. Then I have Learn Botany, Biology and Zoology. I really like it because it has readings and exams. Um, I haven't really read everything yet because I got way too lazy, but I've answered all of the biology exams already. Then I have Elevate and Luminosity. Those are just brain training apps. And then Skillshare, which I will be talking about in a separate video. Then I have Excel folder. I used to have VLive, Amazon, and the Excel app here, but I deleted all three because I don't think I've been needing those through enhancer. That's why I'm left with the white app. So for the last folder, I have Kaching or money related folder. And this is where I put most of my apps as well. First, I have BBI Mobile. It's for banking. Shop back so that I'd get um, a few of my money back whenever I shop online. USSC, I use that for claiming my YouTube money. Globe one, it's to track my data usage, load usage. PayPal is whenever I need to purchase things online. Gcash and PayMaya, similar to PayPal, I use those to purchase things online and more locally. Um, SM Town and Store, this is actually the official shop of SM Town, but I haven't really bought from it yet. Then I have G Market Global. Well, you can buy from Sinara using G Market. Then I have Lazada and Shopee. Both are the most common Filipino online shops. Then I have Carousel whenever I need to purchase secondhand items. So those are the apps that I have in my phone. Thank you so much for watching.